hello guys welcome to my channel again in today's tutorial i'm going to teach you how i made this double welt pocket with flap this particular video i made it for my online um suit course paid suit course which is taking place in on telegram as we speak i just decided to post it on my youtube to show you how clear precise and professional and well detailed my suit course is so you might consider registering okay however like i promised i'll soon continue my suit class on my youtube channel so you might want to stick to this channel if you've not subscribed please subscribe turn on the notification bell so that when i continue when i start you'll be there to learn okay so let's get into it today okay guys so these are my pocket flaps okay so for this line the one that, that is lining this is the one that i'm going to use to make pocket for my inner that's the inner pocket of the suit then this is my flap for my side pocket this is what i'll use to make flaps for my side pocket then this one that is covered at the, at the bottom is the one that is used to make my chest pocket breast pocket okay then this one there are four in number there's the one they are the ones so the ones i will use for making side pockets okay and this is what i'm going to show you how to make in this video how to make side pockets so for this one the first thing you're going to you're going to fold it this way and you're going to sew 0 0.25 inches that's one quarter inches you're going to sew one quarter inches inch rather you're going to sew one quarter inch like this that's 0 0.25 inch all of them you are going to sew it on all of them okay like this so boot all the four of them so it then you trim off the excess trim off the excess like this like i've been singing this is the most important part of suit making if your pockets are there are, are not neat your suit is just going to look rough at the end of the day so they are very very important so you have to pay close attention to these particular sets of videos i'm going to i'm going to be putting up next okay so these are my pockets so go ahead and start how to make the pocket okay so i'll carry one so for the one that is at the top one is going to be at the top one is going to be at the bottom for the one that's going to be to be at the top i'm going to trim it off leaving about two two inches between one and a half to two inches okay so the first thing i'm going to do i'm going to bend the one end to create a crisp at the end if you can you can go to the table and use your iron so just create a crisp where if you can if you open it you'll be able to see that line is created like this so create a crisp now remember the mark we marked the line we marked you are going to place that crisp around that mark you can see the mark there that blue line so you create you put your crisp on that mark and then you shift it a little bit upward so that it doesn't fall so that our line where we stitch on the flap doesn't fall on this so it doesn't fall on on this um our pocket line on the and main suit body so let's shift it up a little bit say about 0 0.25 inch above the line so that's okay so make sure it's aligned on that let make sure that your crisp is still on that mark you marked so when so we are going to sew exactly on that same line you used in sewing the flap okay not below it not above it exactly on the same line so just like you just stop stitching it again on the line so you just sew it make sure you reinforce your thread your thread at the beginning because you are doing a pocket so you have to reinforce the same thing just maintain your sewing on your line so when you get to the end of our pocket where we our mark is our mark is you create another crisp there there you go create another crisp so that you can see it so you sew to that point and you reinforce this reinforcement i'm doing at the beginning and at the end of this pocket is very very important okay guys it's very very important so just cut off all your threads 
this is a very good practice for a tailor make sure you cut all your threads from the edge from the beginning of the thread on so that when you are done your thread will not be hanging so that's all about this part so you carry your other part the bigger part now this one you're not going to trim off anything i'm just going to leave it like this if it's possible it should be bigger than this okay but shouldn't be below it can be it should be it can be bigger than five inches but it should be below five inches okay so you create a crisp again at the beginning at times i used to bite it so that the crisp is clear like this one i beat it okay so this is very important you have to pay close attention here now if you remember we we we, we sold 0.25 inches on both sides right now when you arrange when you are going to set um when you are going to set it like this make sure that the distance between one one stitch end to the other stitch end on the other two both flaps the distance between the stitches on both flaps should be half inch that means if this side is one inch that side is the other side is one inch the distance between both of them should be two inches if it's half half the distance between them should be one inch so this is 0 0.25 on one end 0 0.25 on the other end so you are going to keep it in such a way that the two stitches the distance between the two stitches should be half inches because they are both one quarter one quarter on each end i hope this is clear please make sure you understand this so that your pocket will be neat okay so you make and you make sure that your crisp align with where the first one started so you open it gently and you start sewing and make sure to reinforce so guys it is very very important that the distance between them both of them should be half inch because the sewing allowance the sewing we sewed on the flaps was one quarter inch that 0 0.25 inches okay it is very very important So as you are sewing, you are checking to me, make sure you are maintaining your half inch throughout. When you get to the end, you should make sure you also make sure that you are leaving half inch like this. You are leaving half inch. No, so let me just make a mistake. Let me just make <laughs> a deliberate error so that we can see the outcome if it if it's bigger than half inch so that we'll see if it's bigger than half inch so i just deliberately make this side bigger than the other side and um, bigger than half inch so that we'll see the outcome so this is the reinforcement so cut off our threads cut off all your threads from the origin this So this you can see my half inch throughout however one side is bigger because I, I said i wanted to show you how the outcome will be if one is bigger so you just notch this part and you turn it and you do every other notching or clipping from the back side cut like this where you get to the about half or one inch to the end you slant it and cut it towards the end of your stitch just at the tip where it starts make sure you're not cutting the the thread you sewed just at the beginning of the sewing that's where you your clipping should stop you have to be very very extra careful here if not your pocket will not be neat so your pocket is going to stop should stop your clipping or your notching should stop just where the thread starts exactly at the place where the thread starts then you turn it like this and you do the same thing on this side Careful as possible. You do the same thing here. So guys, making is interesting. Is is interesting. 
even though it takes a lot of time, but it's interesting. It takes a lot of time, a lot of patience. You have to pay close attention and care to what you are doing when you are making a suit. So when you are done, you open it. Sure you arrange it just arrange it using your hand so make sure you press them together like this make sure it doesn't shift press it together and then you raise it now there's a sharp edge that was created from our clipping you sew it together like this there's a sharp edge or a triangle triangular looking um stuff that was created from our clipping so you sew it together like this sew it together i create do a zigzag to hold the two flaps together cut off your threads so you can see our pocket you can see our pocket you can see this part they join together because I, I maintain my half inch however you are going to see this part where I said I deliberately, I deliberately made a mistake you see this piece that was created because of the mistake I made but then I'm going to put on I'm going to put my flap my pocket flap so it's going to cover it up but you see what I mean by you have to try to maintain your half inch so you're going to see the outcome of this you're going to see this piece it created because of um you can see you can see the space between the two the two um flaps because i didn't pay i well i deliberately didn't pay attention so that because i want to show you the outcome okay please pay close attention make your pocket neat of course i've been sewing suit for a long time so i can i knew a way to i can i can get away with errors like this i know how to go about it to get away with errors like this so the next thing is you are going to measure your pocket which is going to give you six inches if you are right so the next thing maintain your hold your six inches in your head okay because this thing you are going to make sure give you the width of six inches so we want to make our flaps now the first thing is you are going to draw a line a straight line like this draw a straight line then draw a corresponding line joining it like this then from the second line you drew the um from the vertical line you drew you are going to measure remember our pocket is six inches however we are going to mark 6.1 inches but we're going to mark 6.1 inches like this so we are going to mark our 6.1 inches up then we come down and mark it so that we can get two points to draw a straight line There you go. So we are going to use. You should have a hard paper like this, and get a, a curvy edge. Construct the curvy edge. This shouldn't be a big problem to anybody. So I will not be showing how I how I got this sharp edge. You should be able to do it. Okay. So you will be using as your pattern to get sharp edges and uh, to get curvy edges like this for your pockets. So you turn it and you get a curvy edge on the other side. The reason why you need to use a pattern for this is so that for the sake of consistency, okay? For consistency sake. So this is my curve. So I'm going to get a lining and so So I'm going to sew a line. I'll use the lining to create a facing follow your course gently guys like i said the pocket is very very important like i cannot even 
overemphasize this this is very very important so pay close attention to when you're making your pockets okay when i'm making a suit i can take 30 minutes like literally i can take 30 minutes to make the sleeves and the back pattern but i can take like two hours making just the front pattern that's how much i pay attention to my making the front pattern okay so make sure you cut out you when you are sewing when you are trimming off make sure you trim off 0.25 inches it shouldn't be less than it shouldn't be more than 0.25 inches so we'll go to the table now and we'll see how to finish up our pocket flap so you can see the number of going to the table coming back to the machine back and forth with tailoring these are all the things that sums up to make tailoring a hard work too interesting you might imagine the number of times you get up stand up get up stand up by the time you're done with the suit your back will be aching however it's what it when you see the outcome so you're going to use your pattern again to place it just on the just beside the sewing allowance as if you want to draw another line so you just and again of course you, you are going to you should off your steam for this if not the steam is going to be coming out and be um, burning your hands so you off this steam and then you fold your sewing allowance against your against your um your pattern your curve pattern you can see you turn it and you do the other the same thing for the other side so this is it so you just remove it and use your iron to bend it press it properly when you are done then you can now turn and you see how our curve will come out so clean so you use your iron again and remember keeping your steam your steamer off keeping your steamer off so guys you can see our curve you can see how perfect our curve is so you go continue and you can see it guys at this point now i can own my steamer and iron it properly so you can see our flap is perfect and see how professional is looking clean and neat our curve is perfect just as we want it to be so the next thing you're going to do is to iron our pockets you know we made the pocket we didn't iron it so whenever you're ironing this pocket start from the inside just iron it from the inside first then you can turn it and iron it from the outside okay you can see our suit is beginning to take shape so you iron it when you're ironing the outside pocket don't iron it directly your iron directly to your fabric put a, a pressing cloth on it and iron it so let me just fix my flap so that you see the outcome okay so this is the outcome of our pocket you can see how easy and clean it's looking so our pocket size should be our flap size should be two inches or at most 2.1 inches so let's just iron it with our ironing cloth you can see so we we'll go to the machine and finish up our pocket on the machine so just turn it this way and you sew both the flap the pocket flap we just fixed and the two inches flap you put earlier on so when you are sewing you sew it closer to the first stitch you see there just next to it one inch sorry 0.1 inch next to it then you can trim off like this so this is how our pocket looks this is how the outside looks and this is how the inside is You can see how rough the inside of your suit is looking but the outside is looking clean so we are going to carry our lining the lining you are using should be big enough to cover the pocket completely so you just hold it this way you sew them together 
that is basically how to make a side pocket for a suit guys it's easy but you have to pay close attention so you just trim off the excesses trim off the excesses then you go back to the iron and just you go back to the table and then just you just press it okay guys that is all about this video thank you so much for watching so you can see my video and my you can see my pocket this is how it looks this is the outside thank you so much guys for watching god bless you and this is the inside bye